What's up, my doggies? Welcome back to another Market Monday. I'm Con, and today we're going to go over what's hot on the flea market, baby. I've got an awesome group of viewers on Twitch. You can always come join us. I've got a Discord, lots of people in there that like to help each other out, and I'm giving away an Edge of Darkness Tarkov account. Details are down below on the description. Now let's jump into the video. I'm sorry about my voice. I messed it up over the weekend. So, please bear with me here. 5 liter propane tanks. 5 liter propane tanks are one of those items that's a 4 slot that I do pick up, and it's because it's worth more than 10k per slot. So 5 liter propane tanks are one of the best 4 slot items, better than PSUs, better than motors, and they're doing pretty good on the flea market right now, so I recommend picking them up. Green battery lithium batteries. These are 74k at the moment. They've shot up quite a bit because Bitcoin is on the rise, so... Two of these and a Tetris trades for a Bitcoin to mechanic. So, therefore, you want to be picking these up and you want to be selling them on the flea market if you're not using them for those Bitcoin trades. Trooper armor. Now, because of the recent Ragman event where armors are pretty much non-existent in the market right now, things like trooper armors are about 140,000. Slicks, any armor really is pretty much worth picking up right now because uh, they're selling for quite a bit on the flea market because people can't buy them from traders. So, high gum trooper armor, 140k, worth a good amount. Magnets. Magnets are worth 20,000 for a one-slot item, and they're pretty common, so I definitely recommend picking these up and selling them. Military cables have also shot up because they trade for a raid backpack. So, because people can't really craft the raid backpacks too easily anymore because everything has gone crazy for the crafts, uh, these have shot right up because you can't buy raid backpacks from Ragman anymore. So for 80 to 90k for one military cable, pretty good. Military circuit boards also well. Uh, they are 54k at the moment on average, so I would definitely recommend picking these up. And military power filters, also worth picking up. 75,000 on the flea market, great item. Power banks, 32k. Now, I recently released a loot run. It's my previous video to this one, so I recommend you go and watch that. But in my in my loot run, it's really low risk. It's on reserve, and you can find tons of power banks, up to five, maybe even ten of them in, in a single raid in a 10-minute loot run. So power banks, pick them up. You find them in filing cabinets pretty often, and they sell for a good amount of money. Printed circuit boards also doing well for a one slot item. Anything that's above 10k, I recommend is really good. Is doing good. If it's above 10k for a single slot item, pick those things up, baby. So 16k for a printed circuit board, and it's a great item to pick up. Ratchet wrench, a little bit rare, but for 80,000, if you find one of these ratchet wrenches, you can always take your CMS kit out of your gamma and put this in your gamma or your alpha or whatever secure container you have because it sells to therapists for a decent amount as well. Pox or Am, now this can be found pretty much anywhere, mainly toolboxes and the little mechanical areas like shelves and anywhere that you would find tools pliers stuff like that for 18k for a single slot item it's a really good item to find thank you guys for watching i'm sorry about my voice i know it's brutal um hopefully it gets better because i have lots of videos to record for you guys this week but i hope you guys tune in i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more content you know who to subscribe to peace people